All right, guys, welcome back to JMV Rock Hounding. I'm JV. He's off at Walmart getting her oil changed or something like that. And uh, I just decided to come out here and crack some of these geodes that I found last weekend and uh, have some fun with that. I'm going to try to set this camera up to film it and see how that goes. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work. This tripod's a little bit uh not the most stable so hopefully we can get it set up and and uh actually show this fairly well but <laughs> we'll see <laughs> let's try it all right let's try to crack some yep yeah you can see that okay That one's a little bit of a solid one. It still has some pretty good crystals in there. There might be more of a pocket on the other side. Well, I might try to crack that one some more. I don't know. Not right now, though. I got plenty to crack on. That one's almost a double. Let's see how it goes. go yeah that one turned out to be pretty solid too it's got a little bit of snowball quartz going on out right there okay well that's at least what's there is pretty That's really pretty. A little piece that came out of it there. This side. Let's do this little one.
can you see that double terminator right there babe do you know where that baggie is with the little pieces of quartz in it i think it's on the table in the rock room you you can get you can do that whatever you're doing we had we had storms here the other day, so she took down all the wind chimes. So now she's putting them back up. That's really cool when you can find those little points like that, double terminated pieces. This one feels really light for it being a good size one. So I know that this one's gonna definitely be hollow. Hopefully it cracks well. All right, let's get her done. I think it's good. Oh no. What happened? That, that bottom piece there came up, came apart in two pieces. Oh. Oh, Lord of mercy. You see that? It's like sand or something. It's like sand, that's where. Oh, my. Ooh, that's wild. I almost want to put this in that bag. <laughs> I need another bag to put this in. Okay, I kind of screwed up for the filming purposes. But I can kind of do the reveal anyway. This big sucker right here is one I cracked on on the last video. And I couldn't get it to crack. So I gave up. Oh, I wish I hadn't give up and I wish I hadn't I just cracked it with a hammer without using a chisel or nothing. Just look at that sucker. Wow. Yeah, that thing's awesome. cracks but I don't want to crack anymore I'll leave it like that anyways at least I showed it to you <laughs> that 
That's got goo crystals in it. I don't know if I want to try to put that in iron out because I think it looks pretty cool the way it is. Do this one next. I've got that one that had all sand in it. I set it to the, uh, I washed it out with water and uh, I've got it sitting over here drying and then I'll show it to you after it dries. Heck yeah. Yeah, we gotta go back up there. <laughs> There's some good geodes there. Oh wow. Look at the crystals right there. Even though that was almost solid, that you know, crystals were coming out showing pretty good. There's a couple little pockets right there on that side. And then that little piece broke off. Like a little cluster. Okay, here's the next one. Again, it feels pretty light. We'll see how it goes. We'll stick with this little one. Terminated ones. There's a good one right there if I can get it to come out. I can't even see the phone, so I don't know if it's showing very well. Yeah, you can see it. Eh, I'll have to hit this one with iron out. You can see crystal structure down in there. It just needs to be cleaned up. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I need one of them crackers. 
This one is not a rattler, but it's it's pretty light, so we'll see how this one goes. There's a little piece that came out of it, showing good crystals. Trying to do this so I don't lose anything if anything comes out. It's one of them dirty ones. Yep. Another one needs to be cleaned up. There's a lot of them that's going to be like that. I want, I want more of them that's got the big crystals in it. I got to figure out which ones look like what here's next one it's kind of small we'll see how it goes looks like it's got some fracturing in it so Maybe I can take advantage of those lines there. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. That's some pretty good crystals. into several different pieces. But that side's got some good crystals on it. And so is that one. Alright, here's the next one. Well, it's solid, but there is good crystal structure in it. I'm trying to figure out which ones are the good ones for the big crystals. All right, let's do a big boy. I got a good feeling about this sucker. It's got some good cracks already started, so it should be easy. Just gonna put this that right down in this little crack. Let's 
time to go. Oh, this just broke off a piece of it. Yeah. It's got good crystals in it. Takes more cokes and let me try up here for a minute. Yeah, cavity. Well, these little bubbles keep breaking off of it. Yeah, the piece broke off the thing at the bottom. Yeah, I don't want to break into blue bean pieces. Well, heck. Yeah, it's got good crystals in it. That's why I need one of them crackers, man. It puts even pressure on a seam. Busting in all kinds of different pieces. But it's showing good crystals. Got some dirt in it. I have to get cleaned out. Oh man. I, got it. I need help. Me? Yep. Hold this open. Because there's a bunch of crystals here that I'm going to pour out. Bottom hasn't broke open yet. Uh, here, hold on. Gosh, Almighty. There's still more in there that's loose. Alright, just pick will you pick these up? Back up here again. Ready? Yeah. I can't see. All right. That one will be fantastic. Cleaned up. And here's the other side. It's just they're very dirty. Got a great pocket though. I don't know if that's coming across very good. Yeah, that'll be real pretty cleaned up. Oh. Oh, Alright, Vicky picked out a couple. Got a rattler. This one shouldn't take much to crack because there's already a little bit of a crack going on right there. Oh, 
I was trying to be easy with that. Hold your hand over here. Another one needs to be cleaned out, but it's got good crystals in it. A couple of them fell out. Look at that little formation. Cool. I should do this live. I should do. All right, she picked out another one. Yeah, just put them in there. I want to have a whole baggie full. That's another rattler. It's got a little hole right there. You can see through that sucker. It's going to be hard to crash. I don't do one. It's gonna, I'm just afraid it's going to bust in two million pieces because it's very thin. Okay, that was better than I thought it was going to be in there. This little pocket. It's like a pocket inside of a pocket or something. Dirty. Huh. Okay. Now oh, that one already did. I got this little one right here. Let's try this one. This one doesn't really feel too light, so I'd say it's kind of solid. Yeah, that was pretty much solid. Toss this one in that bucket. Let's try that one. I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Ah, oh, somebody. Yeah, that thing must be pumped off. Finally. <laughs> Look at the holes, man. <laughs> Look at that. It's chirp. That's plant, actually, I think. Piece of plant right there on my gravel. That was not that was not part of the <laughs> geo. Yeah. I had a little bit of a bit of a pocket over on that side. It was mostly solid. We go in the junk pile. I can add it to the rock garden at some point. There's the next one. More of a smooth skin look on there.
completely solid on that side, but then there's good crystals on this side, but it didn't have a good pocket. Picked out a few more on do this big one real quick. Got a good feeling about this one if I can get it to crack. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, I need the bag, look at that, oh that's loose, good crystals, man, love. look at that. Not a big pocket again, but uh, it's got some good crystal in it. That side looked great. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a nice little point right there in my thumb. You can see it on the camera. The sun is so bright on the screen, it's hard to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a cool little point right there. Man, it's so clear. That point right there. That point right there is really clear too. Really good point. So is that one. Right there to take my finger. Heck yeah. All right. Let's do some on Vicky Pick. That one feels pretty solid, but we'll give her a shot. It's got some cracks looking on it, so might not be too hard to crack. Yeah. That ain't bad. Still ain't getting quite the kind I want to see. I want to see a nice big pocket with big points sticking up out of it, and, but it's got a you know one with a big pocket.
Uh, it's not easy sitting down and bending over doing this. Plus, I'm right over top of it, and I can't see it. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hitting me with rocks. I got it that time. Had some good crystals in it. Already broke open, but or it's flattened. Can you? See? I don't even know if I can, you can see that or not. See what? Me cracking on them. If it's yeah. still on, okay. Uh. Yeah, that's just pretty much solid. But I think there might be more to it. I think I'm on continue cracking on the, when we do the point side, right? Uh, yep, there was more in it. I broke off the a solid side, but there was more in there. It needs to be cleaned up. There's good little points in it. I just There's had a, a feeling. Huh? There's a piece right there fell off of it. Yep. <sighs> yeah, put that in there. Okay. I didn't know about that one. Yeah, that's pretty much already been broke open, but we can go ahead and give it a crack. I knew that was going to happen. Got mud in it. Can't tell nothing about it, it's so dirty. It's got good, that probably clean up though. Let's look at this right here. <laughs> Excuse me. Just have to put it in there. That one's gonna have to be. We're gonna stop, go ahead and stop it, babe. Let's see if I've learned anything. This, I've, I've cracked a few of these right here. It's got that kind of pattern structure to it. I mean, they're, they're actually pretty cool looking on the outside, but it seems like every one of them that's like this that I've cracked have been more of that sugary type uh, interior, not the big crystals.
Oh, that was almost solid. And it don't look like that sugary top to me. Well, maybe. I might have to crack that some more too. That ain't much to look at right there, so let me crack it some more. Got a little bit of pucker right there. Little crystals in there. A little bit right there. Better than the other side, anyways. I think there's probably more even. I don't know here, so I'll just leave it like that. Next, that one feels pretty solid, so we'll see how it goes. end up being sugary. We'll see how some of these look after we hit them with the iron out. I'll give you an update whenever I do it. Okay, I don't even know how that one goes back together. I'll try to keep them together, you know. That's a funky one. Oh, look, I didn't even notice that before. That's got a good little pocket right there. Yeah, that thing's wild. I don't know. I think I might save this one. For a giveaway or something let somebody crack that one themselves it's obviously got some good crystals right there i'll tell you there might be some on up in there too yeah why not oh look at that one already showing good crystals If I want to crack on that one anymore or not, I think I will. I'll leave that one alone. This one's already cracked. Another one I picked up like that. Oh, I got dirty just now. Oh no, a rock hound got dirty. Uh, I don't think that one's going to have good big crystals, but we'll see.
And it's better just hit it with a hammer sometimes. <laughs> that one was solid. At least on that side it was. Might be another buck one. Yep, pretty solid. All right. Toss over there. I'm just grabbing them as a whatever I reach first. Oh. Oh. I don't even know if I want to clean that one up because that one is just pretty like that. Look at that point right there. I don't know. Let's see how many people have watched it this far. Would you like to see this one vote? I want to see you vote. Would you like to see this one cleaned up with iron out? Or left just like it is. Vote on it. We'll see what comes out, and I'll leave this one to the side. No. All right, so I got done cracking, and uh, had some pretty good ones. You know, I didn't. I don't know. I think the other day was better, but uh, I want to show you something else that I decided to tackle today and uh, it's kind of a continuation of an attempt an earlier attempt at something so let me turn this around I am trying to melt some calcite out of some stuff I've, in this bucket you see all this scummy stuff that's all the calcite that's being melted out I finally got some acid and that in that bucket is in that bucket is a bunch of uh, I'm gonna stand up and zoom in. We've got some Bear Canyon geode agates. Uh, there's some uh, oh heck, some Kentucky stuff uh, geode agates or. I don't know what they are. I've, I've got some multiple different things in there. And uh, that crownoid calyx from the, not the last cutting, but the cutting before last that had a bunch of calcite in it. I'm going to try to melt the calcite of, out of it and see how that turns out. But uh, yeah, that I'm going to have to do that, uh, update this tomorrow because I'm going to probably let this sit overnight. I don't know if that's the correct thing to do, but it's still bubbling, so I'm going to let it sit. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to, I'm going to let that sit overnight, and then uh, I'll probably finish this video up tomorrow. Hopefully it all turns out good. I've still got half a gallon of acid left if I need to do, do it again, do more. I'll probably do that tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. I'll keep things updated. Okay, I got some little, I got some advice from Tyler, geode cracker and collector. If anybody doesn't follow him or hasn't watched any of his videos, go follow him. He's a good guy. Anyway, so I got this acid. I got some baking soda and water, and I'm going to, uh, check on some of these and see how they're doing. If I can do this without splashing myself. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that came out. Oh, out. I'm trying to show the pocket because this thing was full of calcite. I can't see in the camera, but. So it's definitely got that calcite out of there. And it's got revealed a bunch of betroidal formations in there. Should, let, should you let it sit in the, the yeah, base, sit. Solution, base solution for a while? According to Tyler, it has to sit in the, for however long you left it in the acid, you need to leave it in the uh, base solution for at least twice as long. I should have got them other tongs and the other tongs are stronger. The other half of that. Looks like there's still a little bit down in that one. Might have to leave that one down in there for a little bit longer. Yeah, I'll leave that one in there for a little bit longer. I mean, put it down in there. Uh. This thing is full of stuff. That's gonna have to stay in there a lot longer. That's a geode that had full of calcite. Uh, Don't splatter yourself on I done did. Hardly come out. Hell. See, I kind of made a mistake with it. And uh, that came out. That's some Kentucky agate right there. It stinks. I don't know if it's all the way out. That's good enough for me on that one. Oh, uh, hold on. Sorry, that was a pain in my butt bending over, so. I'm trying to get down here to some of these bare canyons. This is one of them. good crystals in it that's one of the bear canyon that i got from travis they were full nodules that i cut and you know i wasn't lucky enough to have too many with any kind of much fortification in it but there was plenty of them that were geodes and i need them some big long rubber gloves I don't have any big long rubber gloves. I only got short ones. That's exposed the crystals pretty good. Uh. Do you want me to run to the store and get you some? Hey. Well, I can't pick it up right. And when I go to the store in a little bit, I'll get you some. It's beautiful out here today. Sitting here in shorts. All right, I just wanted to kind of show some of this and I'll 
probably uh, that's still got some calcite in it. I'll just pinch myself. Sorry, my hands itchy. Oh, Turn it on. Here's I'm gonna maybe pick out one or two more and uh, you know just film that and I'm gonna probably uh, do the rest of it off camera just to kind of because it looks like some of these still needs more time but uh, yeah I just wanted to show a few of these and anybody that's ever interested in cleaning out calcite I just wanted to kind of show you Tyler said that he doesn't usually mix the acid with uh, water, but I've seen somebody else before I talked to him, I've seen somebody else where they mixed it a certain amount of water per acid. So that's kind of what I did. I filled the bucket up just above the level of the rocks with water. And then I just started adding the acid to that until I started seeing it bubble pretty good. I used probably about a half gallon of the acid out of the gallon I still got more over there so what I think I'm going to do is probably just go ahead and dump the rest of that acid in here but uh, just wanted to kind of look at a couple more of these and that one looks like it's pretty good nice piece of Kentucky Kentucky agate that had calcite all in it, and now it's showing betroidal. Can you see it good? I can see, but once it's it, hard to see the. Once it dries up, that, that betroidal might be druzy, but I don't know because it's wet. It's hard to tell. It looks like it is. That's pretty, that's a pretty one right there. That's a chunk too. I can't believe them, that geode right there didn't clean up any better than that. Oh, that's not the one, that's another Kentucky agate piece. That one isn't. This one that still has a little bit of calcium. I mean, this is just, it's better to just use gloves because this is, these tongs just want to slide off these rocks. bit of calcite that was left in that one side. Maybe that was more quartz in that than calcite because you'd think that that would have come out of there better than that. I put that one there, maybe it had, maybe it was full of calcite. I 
can't even remember now. It's been so long since I did. See, I tried to do this before with some iron out to see if it, any of it come out with iron out, and it it started to take some of it out, but I it just it didn't take out very much of it. So I didn't have acid at the time, so I'd give it a shot. But anyways. This video, this part of the video will have to take a while before I can clean this stuff up because it's got to soak. But I'll update you on, the, on these later and uh, I'll finish this video up and post it up. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to get back to this and if I show any, if I see anything really cool, then I'll, I'll have her turn it back on. Okay, so I just went in and got uh, a few of my Kentuckys that's got calcite in it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you these before and after. I don't think it'll affect that polish. But I know that that's gonna be pretty underneath that calcite. Here's the other half to that one. So I'm just kind of trying to show what they look like now so we can see the difference once we put them in the acid, take them out. This is a really pretty one. Looks like he tried to get that out of there but he didn't get it all out it's really pretty agate same with this one it looked like got some of it out right there but didn't get that over there out or this just didn't have any in it Guess we'll find out if that comes out. That, I'm pretty sure that's calcite right there. So, let's see how it goes. Show you how this uh, looks when it gets in there. Let's see how it's, it's working on that calcite already. Yep. <laughs> no, that would not be good. Okay, guys, let me get back to it. Okay, guys, so this is kind of like the follow-up results of uh, me melting the calcite out of all that stuff. I'm going to show you some other stuff, but I'm going to show you this first. Because all this is Kentucky agate that I had already and uh, uh, most of them except for well this one had a little bit but most of them were completely flush with calcite and this one as you can see has a hole all the way through it and it was completely filled with calcite but that's a really pretty Kentucky agate if it just didn't have those daggum fractures, but man look at the banding in that Thing is gorgeous and I like it so much better that you can see Look look how the the bots in that is like Almost body themselves. You know, what I mean, it's got like little mini bots on the big bots <laughs> It's wild and I thought one of the, I thought that like two of these were the same agate, but I think they're they're different because it's you know you got these little eyes on this one. 
you can see that was flush with calcite and I melted it out. Same with this one. But they're so similar, but the exteriors are different. See, I mean, it's got that little eye right there. Let me wet this. And that's got a little bit different banding in it, coloration stuff. And then same with this one. It's got like little eyes right there. Some of these are polished. Some of them aren't. See, those look pretty similar too. But they're, they're again, you know, different exteriors. So they don't match them come close to it but they're not they're not the same and you can see how white the banding is along the bottom of that one and this one isn't as much so and this right here was really pretty now that it's got that calcite out of it And this one, th this one right here, don't have banding, but it's got, I don't even know what you'd call that. Well, I mean, it does have some little banding along the interior there, but it's got awesome bots in it, but I don't know what those little white orbicular structures are in that, but it's all throughout the whole thing. It just makes it pretty wild but it's definitely the same well they look different too but they're they do match up i guess you know you cut however much out of it but those are definitely the same and then this one these two are the same pretty sure anyways but there again, you know, it's missing a slab probably out of it. It's got some pretty cool bots in them. And then here's another one. Don't have really any distinct banding in it, but it's still pretty cool. See down the depth in it. And it didn't have, I thought that all this right here was calcite, but maybe that's some barite in it or something, maybe. I don't know. But there was definitely some calcite in there, like down in there. But wasn't as much as I guess I thought. So, I don't know. And then this big sucker. I need to work on that one. I didn't cut this myself. But, I mean, there again, really doesn't have any banding per se, but that's still a pretty agate to me. It's got cool colorations in it. And the bots are awesome. But that's, I mean, there's still a big chunk of that. I could, I could cut the face of this one, cut that one in half even. Looks like there was trying to be some banding in it. See it right in there. Maybe I could just do a face polish on this side. I don't know, this one don't really show anything on this side, but there's still quite a bit there to cut if I wanted to. This one's polished already. Brought some pretty cool bots in this one. Melting that calcite out. And then this right here is super cool. I mean, that thing was plum flush. It was polished 
the calcite was even polished. But I wanted to, I didn't know it was that deep. But those, look at the druzy in that. I am so glad I melted that out. That is so cool. And it's like almost red on this side. And it's gray on this side. You know, maybe not any banding, but it's still cool. I love Kentucky agates. So there's that. And then I'm just going to show you this bucket. I'll show, I'll, well, I'll show you a couple. I, I did a lot of these. Uh, got these uh, Bear Canyons from Travis. And none of them had any fortifications. But, I mean, I'm not so disappointed because, I mean, look how that was full of calcite and now it's just a big druzy uh geode and i mean i got let me just pull it back and show you i got a whole bucket full of them this geode i thought that was all i thought that was all calcite but it didn't come out so and i left it sitting for a while but yeah, I mean, there's a couple of Kentucky geodes that was pretty much solid, and I just threw them in there to see what would happen. But uh, the rest of these are, you know, you can see the bear canyons are black. So I don't know, maybe that's still some calcite, and that one didn't get all out. I don't know. Most of it. Pretty much all came out. So I got some pretty good geodes out of it, but all the rest of it is just pretty solid stuff. And a couple little geodes. But really wasn't any fortifications. I think there was like one piece that's not in this bucket that had some fortifications on it. But yeah. So that's the gist of the video. You'll see me last weekend. I started this video and uh, let me go ahead and stop it and turn around. Well, tell you what. I've got a little new toy from Brian. We kind of did some trading, and uh, let's let's see if any of these are UV. So let me let me stop it, and I'll turn the lights off, and we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna turn this last light off. Oh yeah, look at that one! Holy cow! Phew, that thing's crazy right there. Most of these aren't going to be, but. And that one's just like residue and stuff. I think there's some polish down in some of the cracks on that one. Oh, Lord, look at that one. That's that one with the druzy down inside of it. Holy cow. That's crazy. And the side that was red is not. That's weird. All the rest of it's like that rust color with UV. And the other side that was red is not really showing any reaction. Those white orbicular things are showing up a little bit. That one's showing up a little bit. That one's showing up some. 
Yeah, look at that one. Oh yeah. Let's see if I don't think any of the Well that one that I thought was calcite, that geode. That was the uh That was the uh crinoid calyx geode that I cr that I cut. Wow, that thing's crazy. Yeah, the bear cans really don't show much. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, so I'm going to probably post this video up here in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, well, you'll you'll done have seen it. But I'll apologize. When I said, when I was cracking those geodes and I said, I had my tripod out there. and had it set up just the way it is right now. But for some reason... It filmed it weird, but if it's if it's too weird to watch, you probably ain't made it this far. <laughs> so if you made it this far, thank you and forgive me. But I didn't want to erase all that content that uh you know I couldn't uncrack the geodes, so uh yeah, I'm gonna finish this out and probably take a picture of one of these and uh post it up and i'm going to do another video showing that stuff from Crow that i the crowley ridge agates and so like that that i uh collected yesterday so i'll get a little follow-up with all the church and stuff because i didn't i collected a lot of church but all right guys Thanks for watching. I'm Jay V's in there on the couch playing a game. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later on the next video. Give us a comment. Give us a like. It apparently helps with the algorithm for the likes and the even shares and so like that. So, you know, help us out some if you want. We're almost to 400 on this channel. And tomorrow we're going to be doing the, the giveaway for the... Uh, the shorts channel so stick around and give us a like subscribe and all that stuff <laughs> thanks guys bye